Hi guys, it's Dean from TRS and TRS Survival. Today we've got a real quick tip for you on making your own grommet. Uh, if you've ever been camping, you may have used a tarp and the grommet has ripped out of the tarp. Uh, it can be a real problem if you don't know a simple solution to it. Even if you do have grommets in the tarp, you can use this to save your grommets and in a lot of cases it'll actually be stronger than the actual manufactured grommet. So all you need for this is a small stone or something else that's kind of round, even a stick will work, and you need, of course, the rope that you would have been using anyways to run through your grommet. So we'll zoom in and show you the close-up and show you how this works. Okay, so we've got our materials here. In this case, we're using a heavy-duty trash bag. Uh, this is an, an item that you, know, you could keep in your survival kit and has a lot of uses, one of them being a tarp. We've also got a stone, some rope. So first thing you do, take your stone, put it underneath the tarp material, and you're gonna kind of bunch it up around it like you're grabbing it like this. So this is actually gonna be what you grab onto. So you're gonna take the rope, wrap it around, and you can tie a lot of different knots to accomplish this. I'm gonna use a knot that allows it to be cinched down and uncinched so that it can be reused and adjusted. It's called a midshipman's knot. We'll show you a link to this knot so that you can learn how to tie it if you, if you like it. It's a fairly easy knot to tie and it's pretty versatile. So we're gonna snug down this knot and then I'll show you how it's adjustable. So by pulling on this end and holding the knot we can actually cinch this down, make sure we've got the stone positioned where we want it, and then cinch this down the rest of the way. And as simple as that, you've now got an attachment point for your tarp, and I would rotate this around this way, assuming we want the tension on this side. Basic, and, and as I pull on this, you can see why this works, because it spreads the pulling force out around this entire perimeter instead of poking a hole in here and then tying the string through. It's going to be pulling on one spot only, and it's going to rip out. By putting the rock in here, you've got a lot of tarp surface that you're pulling on instead of one small spot. So this actually becomes very sturdy. And if I had just tied that, this would have absolutely torn by now. So it's real effective, and this is even in not an ideal material. So if this was an actual tarp, works even better. So there you go. Um, just one more little trick to have up your sleeve for survival, camping, doing stuff outdoors, even tying tarps down on a, in a you know, if you're moving stuff with a pickup truck, whatever. Uh, nice little tip to have. Hope you enjoyed.